you're going to want to add links to your blog. And so to do that, we want to go to the links section. First thing we're going to do is look at categories. Because you're going to want to sort your links based on subcategories. You don't want just a big long list of links. So when you click on categories, you'll see that we have added some categories to this blog already. Reading resources, writing and grammar, and there's quizzes as well. Um, but you're going to want to add categories based on your class and the things that are going on in your class. Pretty easy to add a category. Just put a name in, like warm-ups, and click on Add Category down at the bottom of the screen here. And that category will show up as a list in the list of categories. Now, once you have your categories established, and you can always go back and edit these, you see over here, and delete them if you find that they're not useful. You want to add links. Add a link. Click on Add Link up here. And go down to the section where you're going to put your web address in. Underneath that, you'll put the name of the link. And if you'd like, you can put a short description in. Once you have all that information filled out, click on the category section and choose which category you want it put underneath. And then go over to add link and it will show up on your blog. Now, once you have all these links together, you're going to want to manage them. So you can click on manage links and on that page you will find all of the links that you have recorded for your blog. You can sort them in different ways if you have or so inclined I should say. You can sort them by category. You can put them in a different order. And then once you have that taken care of, there are a couple other things you can do. You can always edit that link if for some reason it's not working. Delete it if it's no longer there or you're not using it anymore. And once you have modified all these things, you just move on to back to your dashboard or wherever else you're going.